if you are planning to move here in South Florida, would you consider living here in Metrofica or part of Fort Lauderdale? Let me know in the comment box. What is going on guys? This is RJ Bautista, top realtor here in Central Florida with EXP Realty. Today is my part 2 of my Metropica tour with you. If you haven't watched my part 1 yet, what I'm gonna do is I will put my part 1 video on the top of here or here you will see like a circle there that was like a card. You just click that and then it will go through the first part of this tour okay if you want to see what i tour you on the first part make sure to watch that video because i put a lot of good content in there and also some basic and also some good information about metropica so at this video or at this point what i'm gonna do or what i'm gonna show you is the three bedroom of metropica my first part what i did was i tour you on the penthouse and also the surrounding area of metropica which is the ground floor and also the outside part of metropica so make sure you watch that one all right so for this one what i'm gonna show you is the three bedroom and also some amenities which is the fitness the kids room and also cinema room inside the metropica this is gonna be so nice so make sure if you're watching this video you watch this video from this start until the end and so that you could see the full part of metropica tour all right but before i start this video if you're new to my channel welcome subscribe if you haven't done so and also if you found this value make sure to give me a thumbs up and also share this video to all friends and family who are watching this and who's planning as well to live here in metropica it's gonna be so nice all right so i hope you enjoy this tour and let me know if you have any question i'll talk to you soon we have line 01 and line 09 those are three bedroom residences therefore we're left with eight different two bedroom layouts since we were left with more two bedroom inventory because the one bedroom in new construction is the one that sells like hot cookies in the very beginning and we were left with more two bedroom inventory the developer came up with a lease back program for the pure investors. How does that work? It's a type of investor, preferably cash buyer, who just wants to park the money somewhere for two years and let it work for them and build equity. Yeah, equity. Equity, yes, for two years. Let's say this apartment is $600,000. At closing, the developer becomes the tenant and pays the owner 10% net as credit at closing. 10% net of $600,000 is $60,000. Let's say your client needs to bring to the closing table $360,000, just to put a number. Instead of bringing $360,000, the owner will only bring $300,000. Okay? So it's like a discount, but without touching the value of the property. In addition to that, the developer for the two years will cover 24 months of HOA, plus two years of property tax. When you add up 24 months of HOA and two years of property tax, an approximate total of 6.57% of the purchase price. When you add 10% net plus 6.5%, it's a total guaranteed return of 16.5%. The developer becomes the tenant, which means, and pays the rent in advance at 10% net for two years, which means the rent 5% net, 5% net per year, and also covers 24 months of HOA and two years of property tax. The owner does not have access to the property, was the developer immediate interest to occupy the unit with a tenant for him to recover the 16.5%. Okay, for the two years. After the two years, the owner can continue with the same tenant, can lease the property for sale, can find a new tenant, can come and live in the property themselves. Are we clear on the lease back? So, the, were we talking about the two bedroom scenario? Two bedrooms. How much would that rent if someone wants to, to lease? In the future? In the future. So there's been an increase 2.75% per year. I would not be able to tell you how much it would cost in two years from now, but right now residences rent in between 25 
and 3.5 per square foot. And it all depends on how low. The lower you're in the building, the least expensive. The higher you get in the building, the rent is much higher. Yeah. So it could go between 2,500 and 3,500 or even more. We have two bedroom residences that are currently being rented at 3,900. It all depends on the square footage. Mm. This particular layout is line 10. We are inside residence 1710. What does it mean? That we're on the 17th floor, the last two digits 10 shows us the layout type. Line 10, what does that mean? That from the second floor up to the 26th floor is the same layout. The same 1106 square feet, the same floor plan distribution. Going back to appliances and finishes. Yeah, I there are two finishes options. You saw the gray lacquer cabinets. They are European by Ital Craft. Attention to detail again. The threshold is marble. When you come inside the unit, the umbral is marble. The threshold, marble. You have fire resistant doors. They're not the typical home depot doors. They are fire resistant doors. The finishes at the bottom of the cabinets are stainless steel. The appliances are wood. The reason being, because some clients will ask me, why not Miele or Sub-Zero? For us to be able to sell for under $600 per square foot, a fully finished, moving ready residence, we couldn't move because the acquisition power in the area does not allow us to go any higher than right. that. At the moment, we launched sales. So we have these finishes <coughs> options with porcelain tile, marble-like porcelain tile, we have ports, countertops, Ital Craft European cabinets, whirlpool appliances, washer and dryer in all the residences. So practically it's a new moving ready residence. This is 1,106 square feet. Okay. It's a 2-2. Two -two. Your main bedroom is on this side. The main bedroom is here.
So that's the tour for today guys. I hope you watched the first part and also this second part so you see the full part of Metropica. What do you think of the Metropica? I want to know. So make sure you comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. If you are planning to move here in South Florida, would you consider living here in Metropica or part of Fort Lauderdale? Let me know in the comment box. And also, I just want to say thank you for watching in this video for the first part and also the second part. Thank you for your time. If if you watch this video until the end comment down below let's go metropica i just want to see like how many people who watch this video until this end i really 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 appreciate that one and also what i'm gonna do is i will put my email address down here you can see my email address and also my work cell phone number will be down here so you could contact me directly if you have some question otherwise you could go to metropica there are some people there who will tour you to show you what Metropica is and also if you have more questions in person you are feel free to come there say my name RJ or Renor John Bautista that's my full name and they will recognize me as a realtor so then they know where you came from all right so until next time once again thank you for watching until this end I'll see you on my next video peace people that there, there are <coughs> there are some there are some people there <coughs>